We live in unusual times, and the coming weeks, even months, will not be like anything most of us have lived through before. Our new lives in self-isolation give us time to pray for our world with a new understanding and a new empathy for those we may not have thought about before. The disabled who live every day with little freedom of movement, especially in societies who hide away their disabled and where there's no easy access to buildings or facilities. The refugees and the internally displaced who live with no freedom of movement and no chances for social distancing in a pandemic. The new believers across the Middle East and North Africa who never have had the opportunity to go to church and have always relied on Sat7 and other media for their fellowship and Christian education. We can and we should also thank God with a new appreciation for all we have, a home in which to self-quarantine, health and social services, which is superior to most around the world, for the food on our table, instant access to friends and family over the internet, endless news and entertainment services, reliable supplies of water and electricity, physical security, law and order, and so on. These are things which we take for granted, but so much of the world do not enjoy, and the present pandemic will only make their lives more impossible. We need to learn what God wants us to learn, we need to let him shape us as the potter shapes the clay, as the blacksmith shapes the iron in the fire. May God use this time to reshape us into his image and for his purposes. Be well, be encouraged.